Hey everyone, today we're going to talk briefly about how THCA affects your total Delta 9 levels on your product. So as a consumer, this is important because you want to be in legal possession of a product that's actually able to not make you feel inhibited in any form. And as a, as a, as a brand now, you want to make sure that your product is actually at the 0.3% levels. And if you look at the USDA regulations that uh, propose, they're looking at the total um, THC levels, um, also including THCA, for example. And so U.S. Senators and Representatives in Oregon, Virginia, Maine, and Indiana, they send letters to the USDA so that they can have a 0.5% threshold. And in some cases, they want the USDA to change the regulations to be at 1%. And this is to help the farmers. One thing when it comes to farming, if you pull too early or too late, it affects your cannabinoid um, content level. And as a farm, spending all that money on your products and you get tested at 0.4%, you will have to destroy the crop. The um, senators now are also requesting that the USDA change the regulations from the 15 day window um, for testing to 30 days or more. And so the reason why I am bringing this up is I have seen lab reports lately that has up to 0.6% um, percent or more when it comes to the um, TSC levels. And so I just wanna break down, for those of you who don't know how to, do, um, how to calculate it properly, let's um, do this real quick. So when you look at the TACA levels, TACA is the acid form of, um, of the TAC. When it's decarb, it becomes um, Delta 9 THC. So if you have a high content of THCA and um, you already have uh, levels of Delta 9 THC in your product, it can bring it above the 0.3% threshold. So looking here at the math, for example, let's take a lab that has Delta 9 THC levels at 0.07% and they have a THCA um, levels at 0.71%. So when you have to do the calculation, you have to multiply the THCA at 0.877 um, in the math. So 0.71 multiplied by 0.877 equals 0.623% Delta 9 um, THC levels. And that's above 0.3. So when you add the 0.623 plus the 0.07% that you already have, you have a 0.693% total delta 9 THC and that is considered um, above um, hemp so it's, it's marijuana and if you look at the new regulations that Florida released um, and went into effect on January 2nd it says total um, level which includes the um, THCA and so I have seen some new flowers on the market that has these levels and you cannot sell them they cannot be um, shipped across state lines because of the Delta um, 9 TSC levels. So I hope that those of you who are watching who are brands and consumers um, will take the time to um, look at this further. I'll provide the links um, below in um, the description for you to, to do your own research. And as far as it when it comes to brands, um, this is very important for you to understand when you get your um, lab reports from whoever manufactures or processes your your product, um, the last thing we want for you to do is to sell a product that's in violation of the regulations and you get fined or you have to destroy all of the products that you, you spend all your money on to, to sell. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm always here. Please email media at cb.how. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Love you. There are those that said your pain isn't real. Too slow. Too hard. Too soft.
too old, too limited. To them, we say too bad. Everyone deserves good and clean CBD.